I have my sister-in-law's laptop, which is damaged uh, down here by the hinge. The screen is cracked, and it's causing the touch screen to go crazy. And what's happening is it's just pulling the cursor down to the bottom right uh, side of the screen. So it makes doing pretty much anything impossible because it's not just pulling the cursor down there, but it's constantly wiggling around and clicking. So you're unable to do anything, even if you try to use the keyboard, it's constantly clicking down in that bottom right corner. So my goal is to get her files that she has on here off the hard drive. Now obviously I can just pull the hard drive out, put it in an external hard drive enclosure, and back the files up, or even just keep it on that hard drive and have her keep that as a backup. But um, I want to see about using this computer, uh, making it usable, and, um, and getting the files off it without having to pull out the hard drive. Um, unfortunately, uh, she's running Windows 8, I believe, here, and there's no way for me to disable the touch screen that I can find, at least not easily. Uh, there is a button on the keyboard to disable the mouse pad, but that doesn't disable the touch screen. And I can't get into the system settings to disable it. And I am unaware of any way to uh, get into a text-based mode that doesn't use the cursor that allows me to disable that feature, at least not in Windows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to boot into Linux off a flash drive and see what I can accomplish. First thing I need to do is shut down this computer, and of course I can't use the mouse, so I'm going to try to, uh, I could just power it off, but I'm going to try to shut down properly. So I hit control Alt delete and I'm going to try to click sign out. There we go. So I'm at least able to sign out here. And now I'm at the logon screen, which is uh, going crazy. Uh, can I swipe that up and maybe click the power button down here? No, that's not working at all. I may have to just power it down. Let me try control Alt delete from here. Nothing. So, yeah, I'm just going to power it down by holding down uh, the power button. Uh, this multi-boot USB drive that I've created that has a few different versions of Linux on it. And so I'm going to plug that in. As you probably know, most laptops you power on and press a certain F key or delete or escape to get to a boot menu. Uh, but this is an uh, IdeaPad by, uh, by Lenovo. And uh, they actually have a button on the side that you press that brings you up uh, your boot options. So you just tap that rather than trying to figure out what key to press. So here I'm going to choose my boot menu, and again, I'm going to choose my USB drive. And here I'm going to just choose uh, Linux Mint XFCE 64-bit. And we'll give that a moment to boot. Okay, uh, the desktop is booting here. We're having the same issue with the mouse cursor uh, down there, clicking on our calendar app. And uh, this is one of those things that uh, you probably know of, but there's, and you may wonder, there's many uses for this, but on most Linux distributions, if you press Control Alt and one of your F keys, uh, one, two, three, four, five, and so forth, you'll get yourself a nice little uh, console. So I'm going to press Control Alt F1, and here I am at a shell, and I'm good to go at this point. I can uh, now plug in a uh, external DVD drive, because there's no uh, DVD drive on here, and I can back stuff up to a DVD, external hard drive, flash drive, or even connect the uh, internet and start backing up files that way, all from the shell. Uh, and so, here we go, we're good to go right here, and again, just I'll plug in another, you know, flash drive and mount it and just copy the files over. Uh, so now you may say, uh, how are we going to make this machine usable other than from the shell, because if I press uh, Control alt uh, F8 in this case, it brings me back to the desktop, and I'm still having that same problem. Well, in the next video, we're going to look at just changing a simple config file that will disable uh, the touchscreen on that system uh, when you're inside Xorg. But I just wanted to uh, give a demonstration of that, of what I've done so far. Pretty simple. I mean, didn't have to do anything special, just boot Linux, control F1 or F2, and um, go ahead and just start using the shell to copy files over and back them up. Uh, be sure to check out the next video on this playlist where we'll go a little more in depth on uh, how to uh, get this touch screen disabled. So uh, I thank you for watching. As always, visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. And as always, have a great day.
I hope you're enjoying this video uh, of just, you know, getting around this little problem with some broken hardware. And uh, if you did enjoy it, be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment below. All that helps, uh, helps me out a bunch. And if you do enjoy all my videos and want to become a financial supporter, you can go to patreon.com forward slash millx1000 and uh, you can help support me as little as a dollar a month. And there's different um, levels of rewards. And most of my viewers get the videos earlier all or they get uh, for download without ads. So I hope that you're enjoying this. Be sure to check out the next video in this series. Check out the description of this video for the playlist. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.